has come for you to know what is a variant. What is a hullabulla about variants? It's a basically a hide and seek fancy dress about virus. Virus is very intelligent. When he knew that a lot of antibodies are being produced by viruses, by vaccines, so virus decided to keep on changing their clothes so that it's not recognized. They call it immune escape. Exactly, there is no clothing as such, but whatever the structure it tries to change. And because of these vaccinations, we'll have to find out whether we can attain herd immunity or it's just a myth. All these answers will be given to you by me right now. Now, variants and antibodies, especially the Delta one, people call it that one. So these are the antibodies. 20 of them, they block the, you can see the spike protein, this is the spike protein, they try to block it this way. And so that it cannot enter the cell, right? Now there's this a coronavirus, you can see that. And like, you'd like to enter another cell here with ACE2 receptors. But it cannot if it is blocked. I'll change the color so that you can know that if I block it. That's it. So antibodies are what? They are proteins created by your immune system that help you fight off infections. They are made after you have been infected or have been vaccinated against infection. The plenty of them swarming all around the infected areas inside the body was the entire because well this is a structure of a spike protein. I told you spike I'll draw it again here for you. Right. These are the spikes, okay? The try to enter corona. Now this is the structure, and it has different areas. And one of the these are the usual changes which occur. In these areas, the changes occur. This is the area where the, the antibodies try to attach. They suppose they are going to attach like this. But they change their shape like that. So when their shapes are changed, then antibodies cannot block them from entering the cell and they fail. So this sort of variation, their structure are known as variant. A number of them, but the common for you to understand is nowadays Delta, which is resistant to most of the uh, vaccines and also even monoclonal antibodies also. Why worry about variants? This is the question. Variants because they multiply more in the upper respiratory nasal pharyngeal area. Hence they transmit more, that is in the nose area. Delta variant, this is important to understand. Delta variant is 225 times more infectious. 225 times more infectious. And therefore transmissible than wild type. Wild type is the Wuhan type, the original type. Okay? Then, if a person with Delta variant is there, he will infect 8.5 others as compared to 2.5 others by wild type. So it is more infectious also. So one has to be careful about this uh, virus. And it is resistant to monoclonal antibodies therapy also. Resistant to vaccines and resistant to monoclonal antibody also. So important thing is, it is very infectious. Now, again, science by press release. The Wall Street Journal, we said about half of infected adults in an outbreak of Delta variant, they were fully vaccinated with PNT162, that's the Pfizer vaccine. But what about India? India's 17 states of study was done. 17 over a short period of time. They found 86% of breakthrough of infections were caused by Delta variant. So here also, and they were equally co-vaccine, COVID shield, everything was given. And mind it, 29% had asymptomatic SARS-CoV infection. 
Yes. Asymptomatic. Now, the, this is a bombshell. You must know that. We are talking about hypothetical. This is from the CDC. This is a study which I am showing you, going to show you is from CDC, Center for Disease Control of USA, Authority on the Disease Status. In Massachusetts state, the state, same states where Harvard, Boston area is included, that state. In that state, 69% of adults were fully vaccinated in the state. Despite that, there was a concern. 75% of the people were infected by between 3rd and 17th July, two weeks time. They were all fully vaccinated. They went to a concert and they got infected despite being vaccinated. It means out of 469 cases, 346 cases were who were fully vaccinated. That is 75% of these cases were fully vaccinated. So, in a state which is 69% fully vaccinated, you get this sort of a variation. Then what happens to the so-called herd immunity? It has been said that 60 to 70% population where it is vaccinated fully, then herd immunity will occur. But it didn't. So it raises a question about herd immunity. Well, that's what the fact is. Then how to treat them? Every every vaccine has been claiming through their own company's press releases that it is effective, it is effective, it is effective. Not yet in the press peer-reviewed journal, but many of them. But this one in the New England Journal of Medicine. Prestigious. The study was done head-on comparison. Head-on between Pfizer and AstraZeneca, there's our cover sheet, AstraZeneca Oxford. What they found? Yes, both of them were effective in preventing the infection, but Pfizer was 88% cases, and this was in 67% of the cases, 67%. Effective against preventing 67% cases. But mind it, these were studies which was done they published in August 12, but it was done way back in May June. So th they keep on changing, as I have told you. So don't go by efficacy. They are only for the day. It's like a, your uh, <laughs> dollar prices or petrol prices in India nowadays. They keep on changing. 